Welcome to the Minds Panel Show. I'm your host, Satori D, and we have a very special guest for you guys today. Um, we have Pav- Dr. Pavan Chacha Van Panpun. Uh, I hope I pronounced your name right. <laughs> Not too bad. Not too bad. <laughs> Associate Professor at the Center for Southeast Asia uh, Studies at Kaito University. Welcome, Pavan. Very happy to see you. Okay. So we're going to, um, you have a very interesting history with the, the Thai, Mary, uh, Thai military uh, junta and um, you actually are exiled and you, you're now in um, Japan. Uh, can you basically tell our story and give us the context of what's going on in Thailand? So I'm going to tell you briefly, uh, the, the Thai military state a coup in May 2014 overthrowing an elected government of Prime Minister Yin Lak Chinua. As an academic, uh, I have been very critical of the military intervention in politics for so long, including the politicization of the Thai, mon- of the Thai monarchy as well. So uh, when they staged a coup in 2014, uh, they summoned me uh, because of the fact that I had been very critical of the military. So uh, I rejected the summons. In fact, they summoned me twice. Because I see, uh, I realized that I did, I did nothing wrong, and because I was teaching at Kyoto University uh, at the time, so I refused to uh, to have my attitude adjusted. That is a term that they use, you know, when when they summon summon anyone. This process called attitude adjustment. So I refused to have my attitude uh, adjusted. Because of that, uh, they decided to issue uh, a warrant for my arrest. And shortly, they revoked my passport, forcing me to apply for a refugee status with the Japanese government. Uh, right now, basically, I am a refugee uh, with uh, within I mean in Japan. So that is a, a brief history of myself. Yeah, I, when I was researching, I found that um, that story when they wanted to uh, they requested you, and then you you kind of made a little bit of a joke that you're going to send your. Your, ch- your chihuahua in instead. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that, that's one thing we must know that, you know, dictators do not like Joe. And immediately, uh, you know, any, if anyone follow me on Facebook, you know, I, I like to come up with a number of jokes. So exactly as you said, uh, because I said, you know, dear general, I was so busy. Uh, I am I mean, teaching right now. So may I say my pet dog, a chihuahua, you know, uh, to represent me in Bangkok. So, I mean, that's why he gets so angry with me. Uh, that's that's probably part of the attitude that needs to be adjusted. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I think so, yes. <laughs> <laughs> that's great. But uh, I mean, that's part of, and this is kind of goes into where we're going to get into next, is about uh, freedom of speech and being able to express yourself. And uh, jokes are a way to uh, alleviate uh, the pressure and, and, and all this kind of um, stuff that's going on in Thailand. I, I mean... I know here in the states, um, I like to listen to to comedy, and you get a lot of good information from from uh, being humorous and stuff like that. So I mean, I think it's important. Um, so basically, I guess um, let's for the viewers that probably don't know what's going on in Thailand, uh, we want to go over the coup the coup d'état real quick. Sure. Uh, again, I mean, I, I I could say this, you know, for days and days and days, yeah. but. Uh, but I, I just want to be brief. Uh, Thailand has been uh, under the influence of the military for so long, even though uh, we call ourselves a democratic country. And uh, we are heading toward uh, the, uh, the, the, the transitional period, you know, when the current king, uh, I, I mean, there would be a kind of royal transition very soon. The king kind of has become an epitome of, you know, of political power again for so long too because of the upcoming uh, royal transition the military which has uh, held on to power for quite some time immediately feel uh, anxious about it that's why they decided to stage a coup to ensure that the royal transition uh, would uh, go ahead smoothly and and uh, to ensure also that the, po- the political interest would still be in the hand of the military and the monarchy and in the process you know they would be willing to undermine civilian government for example in overthrowing you know a couple of civilian strong civilian governments and right now they are in the process of writing a new constitution uh, which would allow them you know to again to hold on to power even when the military would no longer be in power in the future so again in this process too you know they try to eliminate critics 
and you know academics are also a part of those critics who have to be eliminated that's why you know there's someone someone like myself and i'm not just the only person who uh, were someone there are other people you know have to run away from thailand after the coup of 2014 that's immediately caused an impact on uh, the freedom of expression and right now you know uh with, with the emergence of uh, the social media many many people in thailand turn to social media especially you know facebook in order to voice their concern about the political situation and not just that they also use social media as a platform in order to share to exchange information so what i what i'm trying to say is that uh, the the military government would uh, is trying it is finding it so difficult to man, uh, monopolize information like they was able to in the past so that's why i mean they they turn a little bit crazy about you know about the, the the power of social media which i am sure we can talk about this a bit later but this is just to give you a context of what really going on in thailand yes thank yes, you thank you um, um article. article and it was the thailand facebook users under threat and um as i understand it uh the thai government has a history of using facebook posts against people and prosecuting them but um this recent situation with the facebook 8 um it's a little bit different because and a little bit more alarming because they're dealing with users private messages and in the article you posed uh, the same thought that i had when i was researching um this topic and it was the fear fears rise that the uh, network is either cooperating with with the authorities or they hacked in or the authorities hacked into facebook um can you go into your article real quick me yeah okay now we can hear you okay. well right now we are quite unsure what really going on uh, uh between you know facebook and and the thai ministry government what i can give you uh, again briefly to example of what we what we have thought it might have it might have happened first you know uh, the, the the military government started to arrest people uh, who uh, who are responsible for making a facebook page which uh, mock the prime minister would which make fun of the prime minister as i said you know dictator they do not like uh, you know uh, to be a joke uh, they decided to arrest eight people who made that facebook page that you know make fun of the prime minister somehow they were able to access the private chat of these people on facebook and then they came out to say that you know the, the the fact that they i mean they were able to access and they did it uh, in a legitimate way without explaining it how could they access the, the private chat in the first place in the meantime eight people who have been arrested also came out to say that they did not give out their password to the authority as well so that raised you know a lot of question whether you know facebook had cooperated with uh, the junta in providing access you know to uh, this private chat uh, of of those who, who have been detained second example is you know there's certain page uh, that have been blocked in thailand one of the prominent uh, page pages is uh, a page that has the anti monarchy element uh, called ku kau you know and somehow this page is no longer be uh, being able to to access in thailand so I mean uh, this is really go against the principle of Facebook about promoting of you know freedom of speech and also a uh, respect for privacy as well so we really don't know what going on I myself have a uh, uh, written uh, a message to uh, Mark Zuckerberg the CEO of uh, Facebook I still have not got response back you know from him Yes I I read that um, um message is is very powerful um also too I think what's what's going on with facebook and this is part of i don't think it's necess- it's yes it's right now uh, it's uh, being highlighted by thailand but this is a human issue for for everybody on the d- digital space that we need as human beings and as a as a global society as humanity need a space where we feel safe to express ourselves and that's kind of fun in the beginning of social networking and it's alarming that we we see a lot of these signs of them having their algorithms that kind of curtailed news feeds um we get reports of them doing mood experiments and then now with with uh either they're getting hacked into people's private messages which is alarming or they're cooperating giving private private messages yeah but um, yeah, so sure, but let me to be in a little bit but it doesn't matter yeah. whether it has been hacked 
or whether uh, Facebook uh, has cooperated with the junta, but I mean the re- the reputation has gone. You know what I mean. Uh, and as you said, this is the, an issue of you know uh, human being able to express how they feel. But in Thailand, it has gone another another step. You know further. Uh, these were private conversation. They did not express it in public. They did. They did not uh, mean to hurt anyone in particular. But because the issue of the monarchy in Thailand has become so sensitive, that's why people tend to talk, you know, behind the scene. But yet, you know, Facebook, if Facebook had cooperated, you know, this is so wrong because uh, the the sentence for uh, anyone who has been charged with less majeste, we call this law in Thailand as less majeste, which means a crime. Uh, you know, up in south against the Thai monarchy. This crime in Thailand has been severe. You know, you could be put in jail between three to fifteen years. And eight people who who were arrested earlier, six of them have been set free. Only two have remained in prison. Those two will would be charged with less majesty. And this is because the Thai authority uh, were able to access their their private chat on Facebook. Yes, and for me too. When I was uh, heard about the news and I was researching and I was reading this article on the Human uh, Rights Watch, and they brought up about you know the harsh sentences that um, the 40 year old uh, mother was facing, 15 years for just agreeing, and that's horrible. But I also too, what they did, what they neglected to say is, that where is the uh, responsibility or liability with Facebook? Because if they are giving out, selling this information or or even if they got hacked or how they got the private messages, they, uh, the Thai government has been on the Human Rights Watch. Uh, the U.S. government has denounced them, and they know it should be known that the harsh sentences they could face for for this, and and that's really alarming. I think 15 yeah, years I, for yeah. yeah, and and I I would never expect Facebook you know to come out and admit it. Of course, Facebook would not come out and accept it. Uh, the Human Rights Watch, you know, did ask uh, a number of questions to uh, Facebook, uh, I, I, but I don't know why they they sent uh, uh, this question to Facebook uh, in London, in, in the London office instead of you know sitting at uh, Menlo Park uh, headquarters. Uh, but anyway, the Facebook uh, office in London then clarified uh, its position that uh, it never gave any access to the Thai authority, even though it did not say specifically why certain pages. Uh, Facebook pages were blocked in Thailand. You know there were no comments on that. But somehow, you know, I mean, as I said, I would not expect Facebook to come out and accept it anyway, even when it did give access to the Thai authority. Yes, and um, I, so it's this situation is very alarming. But um, so what we're gonna get into too, and uh, Bill was supposed to be here, but um, he's having a little bit of problems. I think he's sending in some questions. But real quick about minds.com and this is where um, I could probably speak a little bit about it because I have interviewed Bill, Bill a bunch of times and one thing that they do right off the back with minds.com is it a end-to-end encrypted uh, chat so that that means they don't even have access to your password for your chat now our chat's not perfect but they engineered that problem out of the equation so even if the authorities were to ask them, oh, we need this guy's uh, private messages, and they, they could tell him, we don't even have his password, so you can't, we can't do it. And this yeah. is this is really important uh, issue. And um, also, too, I guess, kind of what 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 brought you to Minds, and how did you get? Right. Sure. Uh, yeah, I can say something about that. I mean, I think Minds uh, just come at at the right time, uh, with the people become becoming more and more suspicious of Facebook, suddenly Mice has become uh, another, I mean, an answer to, to the problem that uh, in, that, that uh, user in Thailand have with Facebook. You know, I just found out about this, you know, from a colleague of mine who had been living in, in the States, uh, pointing to, to uh, this, you know, the, the, the new uh, social media source. And then I just went into it and I thought that, yes, this could be the solution, as I said. Uh, so, uh, I, I, and then I started to advertise uh, my, you know, on my Facebook page, and uh, I mean, quite quickly, many many people who have uh, for, who have followed me, then uh, started to see that you know my could uh, could serve as another uh, venue for them to chit chat, and hopefully you know with a more with uh, I mean a better kind of 
you know safety when 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 we talk about you know access you know to private chat and uh, as you yourself said you know I think there there's some room to develop and I I I kind of quite like this you know uh, uh encrypted uh. Private message. Another thing that I think is is quite good that when you click like or dislike anyone, it does it does not show who actually are they, and this could be good in Thailand because you know in uh, uh, increasingly the Thai government has gone you know once again a step further by you know willing by by being willing to prosecute anyone who click like for any message that could be deemed as. A threat to national security, so that you know, kind of uh, make people feel more aware of whether they should click like or not, because they they can trace who really click like. But with the new system in mind, uh, uh, when you can be anonymous, I think that that is really good. Yes, and that's part of what what um, draws actually a lot of us to to Minds. com. And there's a certain amount of freedom you get when when you kind of have this and not uh, being anonymous. And you're able to express yourself a little bit more. But I know for for a lot of people that I interact with and that are a part of this show, they are um, also too banned from Facebook for um, one, not even because uh, they have the uh, you need to give uh, verify your ID, and a lot of them didn't want to do that. And Facebook has uh, a pretty good history of censoring um, sensitive, uh, critical media and and stuff like that. So um, this is a big issue for I know for the community that I run with on Minds, and um, so I also was wondering too, where do you see I guess freedom of speech and expression for for Thailand evolving, and uh, can Mind uh, play a little bit of a role or? Yeah, sure. Uh, I mean, uh, I would not expect that the situation in Thailand would improve. Uh, especially in terms of you know uh, freedom of expression and also respect for privacy, because in Thailand uh, these days, you know, as we know, Thailand is in the custody of the ministry uh, government. You know, you cannot just go on the street and then start to protest against them. That that has become illegal in Thailand. So that's why again, social media is has become the only avenue for them to express how they how they feel. Right. That's why I think uh, there's a lot of potential for my. You know, to to be able to work with the user in Thailand. You know, I just want to remind uh, uh, anyone here that uh, fresh. I mean, with Facebook and also other kind of you know social media outlets, it it has gone so it it has grow grown so quickly in Thailand. Not to mention that in 2014, Bangkok has become uh, the, the the world capital of Facebook. You know, more and more people, most people in in Bangkok use a Facebook compared with any other capitals in the world. So again, the potential is there. Maybe my might look into how to uh, to attract more of the users in Thailand. Maybe you might have to think about uh, language support of uh, the application. Uh, I don't know. And I mean, to think about having representative in Thailand might be a bit too far fetched. But uh, there are there are certain things that might should think about. Uh, bringing more and more of user from Thailand because this is a very potential market. Yes, um, I know for for a past interview um, when we were talking about different things that are on the horizon, and this is the good thing about Minds, it's it's still in development, but the the CEO Bill and John are accessible. You can reach out to them and talk to them, and we as as the Minds panel show as a community, this is where we got together so we could speak our voice and and they listen to us and so we uh one of the things that is on the horizon is a translator so that would be easier for for the communications because we have a lot of people like uh, most of the people that i really interact with are international i talk to people in germany in uh, amsterdam in uh, australia um my friend who's here he's he's in new york and i like that about mines is it's kind of like international global reach that i get and i guess um, I got this message from Bill, and he w- he wanted to see what is your interpretation of Minds. You have a big following on Facebook, and you've been very active on Facebook. And I think you probably have noticed that how they how their algorithms kind of suppress your your reach as it was before. Um, maybe some of your posts don't get get as far as it as it does. Versus Minds doesn't have an algorithm like that. I mean, your your post is organic, and I and actually, 
uh, when you posted about you being on the show, our our site got hit a lot. Uh, we got bumped up by like three times what we normally get visits on our people interested in and trying to see. So I was wondering what you feel about so far in your experience with mines. Well, I guess, I guess uh, I mean, I mean, in my situation, it might be different from other people, other people, because I have uh, such few followers. So uh, sometimes uh, the, the court system, strongly speaking, on my, uh, I'm still not quite sure how it works. You know, <laughs> I, I, I need to, I need to spend some time to work on it. But I think uh, briefly, maybe uh, I can use point in order to push my uh, some of my statuses like to the top of the feed. That any other people could see, it. I think that would be useful. But uh, I, again, in my case, as I said, uh, it might be a bit different from other, other people because I already have a number of, I mean, a large number of followers. You know, without being pushed to the top, I'm sure that people will look uh, at my post anyway. But I think this could work for other people, which I think this is something that uh, Facebook do not have. Yeah. Uh, and uh, yeah, you can think about it. I mean, it's a lot, right now, I don't think you explain that. Clearly, there's a lot of people in Thailand who become so uh, puzzled about uh, how my uh, is working. So I hope that you you would be able to support uh, in terms of explanation in Thai. Uh, hopefully, I know it will not be easy. Uh, there, there's some there's some website in Thailand already translated everything in Thai. How to apply, you know, uh, uh, to become a member of my. Uh, Hopefully, there would be a lot more of website like that trying to explain the situation. Yeah. yeah. We are actually, um, as the Minds Panel Show, are investigating that and, and researching that. Um, we have a number of kind of like translators, but we kind of want to reach out to maybe to the Thai community and maybe we do tutorials, but maybe uh, get those tutorials on Minds translated into in, Thai so we can yeah. help out and work together. Um, Actually, this is how I got in contact with you. We're talking about the organic reach. I wrote an article um, or a blog about the situation, and it was mainly focused on what I was talking about, um, the Facebook's um, responsibility or liability in, in all of this and how do they get the private messages. And this is something that I'm kind of concerned about is, um, you know, your own personal data and how it's being used. And a lot of people don't even realize how their data on the Internet is being used. Um, but I, I this think, is... Yeah, sorry, another thing also, uh, we just uh, pop up in my mind. Uh, I think my, my, my have to, I don't know, I don't know how, how to suggest, apart from saying that it has to be friendly user. Uh, I think a lot of people who have been using Facebook have become guest used, they, they, they have become, I mean, so used to Facebook system. Then whatever they do not find on mine, that they could find on Facebook, they feel frustrated you know yes. what i mean yes. but, I guess, I don't, I, but i don't know how to how to suggest but i guess yes. that over time people would get you get used to my you know but but this is what i what i have heard uh from from uh from my followers on facebook yes that's that's the same thing we get to with with our community and even with my own friends personally when i try to get them to come over to mines and they kind of no, it's not user friendly. That's a term that we use, and we got to get more user friendly. And it's happening, and we're we're getting more features, and we're still still developing. But um, I wanted to go back to uh, when I wrote that blog. Um, someone from the Thai community, he's called Non Drama, and yep. he, he reminded my my post, and I was, and I didn't recognize because I look into my notifications that like oh someone reminded my stuff. I don't recognize that guy. Let me go over there and, and like communicate with him because we're we're big on we call it common culture of having dialogues with people and not being so passive with just liking and stuff like that. So I saw them having a conversation about privacy and they were they were talking and this is his response. He's like, nowhere is safe. It's just a place that you find your tribe. As long as we're still living in Thailand, but those who are living abroad, it is still their safe pl uh, playground. Uh, no report or being access banned from uh, Thailand, like Facebook, he's talking about mines. And I told him, yes, like, you got to be aware anywhere you go. But as far as right now, of all the social networking, mines, especially in somewhere in Thailand where, where it's very critical what, what gets out of your private messages and stuff like that. 
um, this is the safest of the playgrounds. And it's like what I said, it's important to have somewhere where you could express yourself and feel safe doing it. I mean, it's it's a human issue. It's it's good. This is part of being a human. You need to express yourself. And um, us as the Minds community, I've been actually really happy. I mean, I've been really um, nice when I when I come around with you guys. I've seen a lot of expressions, a lot of uh, artwork, uh, music, uh, also your uh, political images, which are always good to look. Um, so we are definitely looking to uh, working more closely with the Thai community and being more user friendly. Um, too bad we couldn't have Bill on, but we're gonna have his part of the interview a little bit later. No, no. Just like my last point, I think uh, to, to be to be successful in in the Thai market, especially right now, I think the keyword is you have to guarantee them a kind of safety. I think that that would come up on top of uh, anyone's head right now. You know, that would be a, a major reason why they want to migrate to mines because a lot of people have been let down by a Facebook when it comes to, you know, uh, security, safety issue. So if you could make sure that this point had been em emphasized and emphasized, re-emphasized. So I think that is the way to go right now. And apart from, you know, being a user friendly. User -friendly. Yes. Yeah. And uh, I think we are going to definitely try once we get built to try to clarify it, but then also to us as a show to keep on emphasizing the, the features of, of the privacy. But also to another part of what we're going to do, and this is what we're going to do probably tomorrow, and we're going to have like a practical guide of how to keep yourself uh, somewhat protected on the internet. Um, for instance, there's a bunch of different services that people could use. Um, encrypted email, um, a, a nice encrypted email service that we use, and it's from Switzerland. It's called Proton Mail. Um, there's this other a uh, real simple attachment to your browser. It's called Ghostry. So it makes sure that, you know, it keeps your, your data from, from getting mined on when you're going around the sites and things like that. And then hopefully too, when we when we reach out, anybody listening in the Thai community that feels comfortable translating, uh, reach out to me, Satori D. We'll make post. Um, we'll give you the art tutorials and then you could, you could um, dub them over in, in Thai and we'll work closely. And um, I'd like to thank you uh, for coming in. And anything you want to say to the Minds community, to, to anybody else, anybody outside of our community? Well, uh, I'm, I'm just glad that uh, we have another kind of uh, social media media platform for us to experience. And as I said, Minds uh, has come at the right time when Thailand has, has you know, uh, sunk further into a uh, political turmoil. And hopefully, my would be uh, the right answer for what a lot of Thai people have been facing, especially in terms of uh, uh, respect for privacy and also uh, freedom of expression. So, here we go. Yes, for freedom of expression. And uh, thanks again for coming in. And I, I'm sure we'll, we'll keep in contact and looking forward to seeing what blossoms with the human expression. Thank you again. Thank Bye. you. What now? On Minds.com, everything is entirely free and open source. It's a breakthrough platform to create and share any type of media imaginable. HD video, audio, text, music, art, code, or some new medium altogether. Online gatherings, live streaming, networking, evolution of the network and featured media is based on the votes of the people. It's about liberation of information and access to knowledge, the freedom to share and speak your mind. There's a Creative Commons information revolution going on, a global remix. The world is waking up and starting mass movements to protect freedoms and digital rights. The great internet migration is happening and we're starting to use sites that respect people rather than take advantage. We want you to be part of this gathering of the minds.